Friends, it is Thursday, the 4th of August, and I'm going to read uh, just two verses from Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 6.2. I've saved these verses uh, until a little bit later in this week, and here it goes. The first one says, Now this is the commandment, the statute, the ordinances, that the Lord your God charged me to teach you and observe in the land that you are about to cross into and occupy. This is Moses speaking to the people of Israel. So that you and your children and your children's children may fear the Lord your God all the days of your life and keep all his decrees and commandments that I am commanding you so your days may be long. That's a little bit of a discombobulated and slightly a run-on sentence. I'm going to read it again. The purpose of the law that's being taught and should be followed is that you and your children and your children's children may fear the Lord your God all the days of your life, may be in a right relationship with God. And, and be able to keep his decrees and commandments so that your days may be long. So there's a flourishing uh, element to this. I call this model for life chain link living. Say it with me, chain link living. It's the idea that we have generational responsibilities. And so good leaders have to, be able to look in different directions. I th think of this a little bit visually with me for a moment. It'd be an easier way to remember it. Good leaders need to look downward toward the rising generation, toward children and youth. And because they need to look downward at children and youth, they need to look forward toward the future, right? That these children are going to be living. Now then they need to look upward at older generations, all right? Upward at, at previous generations, older generations. And that means backward toward traditions and previous revelations. In order to really look upward effectively and understand previous generations, we need to look backward at previous uh, insights and, and revelations and traditions. We also need to look sideways. Can you look sideways with me? Look sideways at the examples of their peers and all around at their own generation. So good leaders are looking upward and backward. They're looking downward and forward, and they're looking sideways and around. And this is multi-link. This is generational living. We look at the paths that we, the, the roads we've inherited and at the customs that we've come to know and at the faith principles that have been given to us from the past. We look uh, around at, at what's going on in our own generation, take some responsibility for understanding that and for relating to people our own age. And we also look uh, downward at, toward the uh, generation underneath so we can pass things on that will help them live into the future. Let's take a moment and pray. Lord, help us to live in an intergenerational way. Help us to look in all these directions and uh, help us not to fall into the patterns our society has of sometimes setting generations against each other, separating them, trying to let us live in kind of marketable cohorts that really aren't in relationship with each other. Uh, we ask this in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen.